A recent report by NJ Advance Media is rocking the State House in Trenton. It unveils detailed interviews with 20 women who share harrowing stories of being groped, harassed, and even raped while working in New Jersey politics. What's worse, the report says the women chose not to report their allegations out of fear of professional and personal retaliation. In the wake of it all, Senate Majority Leader Loretta Weinberg announced she'd form an ad hoc committee to, as she puts it, find solutions to the toxic climate of misogyny that continues to pervade New Jersey politics. She joins me now. Loretta Weinberg, thanks for being here. You, you read the report. Your initial reaction? Well, I can't say I was shocked, uh, and I'm uh, in good company in saying not shocked, but I was disheartened because I thought that we had made some steps in improving the atmosphere, that we're passing some laws that make women feel safer. And that's the disheartening part, that women still feel they cannot come out, they can't complain, they just have to go along with it and be quiet. When you say steps, are you referring, I mean, you were the chair of the Legislative Select Oversight Committee, co back yeah. co-chair during the Katie Brennan Al Alvarez hearings. You all put forward bipartisan legislation are those the steps you're referring to? Yes, and, and that bipartisan legislation is moving through the legislature. We will be, I think, passing the rest of those bills, and they will be on the governor's desk by the end of this legislative session. And they provide things like a hotline where people, mostly women, can report such incidents whether anonymously or by name, whether they want somebody to reach back out to them. And what we really need to do is start, apparently, start changing the culture. You know, I often say, and this has to do with many bills I've been involved with that have passed into law, uh, we can't change people's hearts. All we can do legally is make sure they can't act out on negative feelings. And uh, I think we have a ways to go. I asked to form, or I decided, I didn't ask anybody actually, I decided to form this ad hoc committee, not to put it in as a legislative committee, to keep it out of the bureaucracy. Is that committee formed? Because you've already got a couple of, of big it, names, ooh. Julie Virginsky, um, you've got Janine LaRue, um, Patricia Teffenhart. Is it formed? We are beginning to form it. The names that you mentioned are among the three people I reached out to. They've all, they all quickly agreed. I have heard from some Latina organizations. I've heard from others who would like to participate. Somebody like Laurel Brennan, who is secretary, and tre secretary treasurer of the AFL-CIO. So is the intention, labor. Senator, is the intention going to be about exposure, about going after some of these instances to change the culture, or more, more policy, perhaps? I don't think it's going to be policy-wise, uh, because I think we've done a lot of that in the legislature, and maybe there will be some things, but that's not what I would like to spend a lot of time on. I think what we need to do is talk about how we are going to change the culture to make women, and sometimes men, feel safe in reporting inappropriate interchanges, inappropriate incidents, and Does how we are going to- Does that start at the top, uh, Senator? And, and we yeah. just have a little bit of time, but some of your colleagues have called out the governor for some of the non-disclosure agreements that were in his campaign for consultants, um, transition workers. Does that start at the top, and, and would you like to see Governor Murphy change that? Yeah, uh, yes, definitely. I was the sponsor of the law which outlawed uh, non-disclosure agreements in the case, cases of sexual harassment. The governor signed that bill, but he still has a non-disclosure agreement through his campaign against at least one consultant that we know about. So secrecy, secrecy is what allowed so much of this to go on for so many years. A lot more to come. Senate Majority Leader Loretta Weinberg, thank you for sitting down with us, and we'll look for more from that committee. Thank you, Brianna. Thank you.